a great day. All right, most of the time when I do a video project, it's usually because I have to get something done for someone. And so in this case, I was giving a thank you gift to a friend of mine who was so kind to host us and some of my other friends over this one weekend recently. And so I'm a big fan of the dollar store and I found these amazing bags, but I thought, well, we gotta do a little something with them because they're kind of basic. So I want you to watch this video, and the funny thing about it was, was their reaction. Like I made the bag, it's very simple to do, but everybody kept talking about it kind of all weekend long. So if you want a quick and easy way to make a little fun gift bag that'll impress people, hopefully you'll love this video. And by the way, if you do, please like it on Facebook and also share it on Pinterest and Facebook if you can. Thanks, enjoy. Okay, here are my two bags, and here are all the tools, mainly from the Cricut Tool Collection. Um, you're gonna see I have the contact paper and the vinyl I'm using as well. All right, I'm using my iPad with the Cricut. You go to your main page, you hit Create a New Project, and what I like to do is go to my shapes, and I like to have a reference point of how the design's gonna look, whether it's the front of a card, an interior of a card, whatever I'm working on. So I measure the space in front of the bag that I know the vinyl's gonna be placed on, and I just give myself a working space to know that I'm gonna be aligning it up correct. In this case, it's eight by eight. I also like making it lighter all the time. Here's a little tip. If you make it lighter, obviously you can see when you put the letters over and on top of it easier. And again, that box will go away. It's just a reference point for me. I'm using Mr. Rex. When you go into the fonts, you'll find Mr. Rex. Um, it's super cute. And then obviously I'm going to type in the letters that I'm gonna be using. And I will manipulate these a little bit later. Okay, in a minute you're gonna see I'm gonna go a bit faster. So again, Mr. Rex, and I'm typing in my next set of letters or exclamation point for that matter, XOXO, and Mr. Rex again, and of course Susie. All right, I like to position the letters just to get an idea on my space of where they're gonna land. I'm not done yet, but I just kinda like to get a feeling for the size and where I'm gonna center them up and kinda how they're gonna look. At this point, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to isolate the letters. So you tap on thanks, and then you hit ungroup. And now you can actually work with the letters individually. And the reason I'm doing this is the technique called welding. What you do is if every leather touches each other, then you can peel them off as one big piece as opposed to having to peel them off as every single letter, which I just have no time to do that. So I want the quicker route, which is welding it. At this point, I'm gonna get rid of the box because I'm pretty happy with my spacing. So I'm just gonna eliminate that out and now I'm going to work on welding. So what you do is take your finger and you slide over the group of letters that you want to regroup. And then you're going to hit actions down below and then you hit weld. So you'll see I hit um, actions and then weld and it groups them together. And then I do it two more times. Slide your finger, weld, slide your finger, weld. Okay, now I decided I wanted to go back and fiddle with the uh, exclamation point just a little bit and then move it in. Those will cut out as two pieces, but that's pretty easy to actually handle. And of course now it is time to cut it out. So there's the mat, there's the design, and now here's the final cutout. Now in retrospect, I should have left it on the sticky mat, but I was trying to save my vinyl because I'm really thrifty, so I wanted to cut it out. But I should have left it on, cut it halfway up, and then did what's called the weeding, which you'll see in a second while it was still on the mat. But hey, lesson learned, right? All right, so you cut it out. This is so annoying because it curls up. But anyway, so I finally wrestled it down. And then uh, there's weeding off the main section of it. And then you just take off the little pieces that you don't want on the final design. And those little tools you can get at HSN um, and they're really handy. Now I get real smart and decide I am going to tape it down so I can make the transfer. Now what I'm gonna do is tape it down and then I'm gonna use the contact style paper that comes with the vinyl. And what you do is I measure it out. I, I Again, I'm super thrifty, so I want to use a teeny little bit and save the rest because gosh knows, I'm sure I can do a little monogram on a mug or something later. But anyway, there I am and I'm actually cutting that part out. So it's about the same size as the word. I flatten that out to make it a little bit smoother. And here's a quick little technique that I like to use is don't rip it back all the way. What I like to do is place it and then slide it back because you want this to be as smooth as possible. And then I go back in with my burnishing tool and then I'm just really rubbing down on it to make sure that it's gonna to adhere to the contact style paper that comes with your vinyl. Then I take my other little tool from Cricut, which is one of my favorite, that little spatula, and you're just gonna slowly peel it back and you wanna make sure it lifts up with that contact style paper. So you just slow, slow, slow and kind of move along and, 
and some of it will peel up and if it doesn't I just use my nail to kind of burnish it back down again and you keep going along until it finally all comes up and voila there it is now you go to your bag or whatever it is you want to place it on and I positioned it I place it and again I want to rub it down I want to make sure it's on the bag really well so I burnish it once again and then I go back and you'll see that once again I'm going to use that famous little tool it's like one of the handiest tools ever in all of crafting I swear and that it peeled off really easily and then you're going to finish the other two words and there is my final bag and I honestly thought it turned out pretty great it took a you know a dollar store type bag and I thought it made it really terrific and fun and happy please don't forget if you like this video to share it to like it to put it on Facebook, to pin it on Pinterest. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day and thanks for watching.